No doubt about the big breaking story this afternoon on Sky Sports News. Leicester City giving permission for Bolton to speak to their manager, Gary Megson. Let's get back now to the Walker Stadium and our reporter Rob Dorset with a special guest. Yes, Dave, I've got uh, Milan Mandrich, the Leicester chairman, with me who's uh, agreed to talk to us. Milan, how are you feeling at the moment? Well, what can I say? It's, it's a very, very uh, tiring time and, uh, uh, you know, a little tired of of all things, maybe physically and uh, <laughs> every which way, but uh, I think we've got to look at our life. We look at uh, where we're going from here. That's more important than what took the place up to this point. But uh, yes, it was a long uh, 48 hours, last 48 hours. Uh, a lot of commotions, a lot of things that I never experienced being in football for 30 some years. Never experienced anything like this, but. Uh, Whatever is here, it's here. We have to take it and uh, go on with our lives. What are the facts, Milan? You've uh, given permission for Gary Megson to talk to Bolton. What more can you tell us? I couldn't tell you a lot more other than Gary uh, came to me last night after the match and uh, asked me for permission to go to talk to uh, uh, Bolton. Uh, during the conversation, I you know, discovered that uh, Gary's uh, heart is uh, not with us anymore and uh, he wanted to go there, talk to people and hopefully get the job. And, uh, you know, I had no choice but, uh, you know, allowed him to do so and that's what uh, took the place today. How do you feel about the decision Gary Megson's made? Do you feel let down by him? Well, I don't like Rob. I'm going to get involved in that. Uh, basically, you know, I really have to look at, you know, I'm of course disappointed and uh, uh, coming with uh, with especially you know it was not my desire I brought uh, Gary here to give us uh, give us uh, stabilization of the club you know we, you know he's a good manager he's a good man you know but uh, for some reason or another he chose to go somewhere else and uh, I can't stop him I uh, but at the same time I got to look at what is the best for 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 our club here I'm not going to give up on this this will not shake me up or do anything. Uh, to change my, my, my course and the direction that we, we, we choose uh, from the day one and I arrived here. I thought that's going to be difficult. I didn't think that's going to be difficult as it is, but uh, we have to get it behind us. Uh, uh, Gary came here. Uh, he showed us uh, quality of the management, uh, but, you know, we got to move on. He was only in charge for six weeks. Are Bolton going to pay you some compensation? There was some doubt, Milan, about, about Megson's contract. He hadn't actually signed a contract with you, had he? No, I never had doubt, doubt about that, uh, Rob. I told you illegally he was obliged to our club. You know, we not only shook the hands, we worked on details. We have a, a confirmation of his agent who was, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, dealing with contract, that everything was okay. It was just formalities, you know, and uh, bringing the contract back, you know. But contract, with all fairness, was existing, was there. Gary was paid uh, properly with uh, including all details. They were, they were included in the contract, so I never had doubt about that. On the other side, Gary is not that type of the guy that will walk away and, uh, and trying to, to, to cheat the club or anything like that. You're talking very nicely about Gary Megson. This is a man who'd been out of work for 18 months, certain of his previous employers had telephoned you to try and dissuade you from employing him. You employed him anyway and six weeks later he's walked out on you. How do you feel about him and, and, and that decision? Well, Rob, if I can say some nice things about people, I'm not going to say anything else. You know, I, I think I'm bitterly disappointed, needless to say, of course. Disappointed for my supporters, you know, because they uh, start to see the signs and uh, start to see the hope start to see the stabilization of the club, discipline on the field and all the things that we need. You know, all of a sudden this happened, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed because of, you know, them as well as myself. But uh, again, as I said in the beginning, we got to go on, you know, we, this club is big club, this club is well supported. I got a lot of good people who are working in this club on the field and off the field. And I owe to them, you know, just shake this off and go on with it. Bolton will be paying you compensation? Yes, they will. They will pay compensation and, uh, uh, you know, Chairman and myself agreed on that uh, and uh, there is no problem there. Can we ask how much? It's, you know, just going to be paid whatever we agreed, you know, it's, uh, you know, uh, in, a, in a range of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, Gary's salary and uh, some expenses, but, uh, you know, they were, uh, you know, with no problem with them at whatsoever. 
When do you expect uh, Bolton to confirm Gary Megson as their new manager? Could it happen quite quickly now, Miller? I think it's just going to happen in the next couple, three hours. That's my view. Uh, that's what I uh, think that will happen, Rob. You know, so again, you know, we have a big game on uh, Saturday. I got a lot of exciting players. I have uh, Jerry Taggart who is jumping eight feet in the air, trying, you know, to put his feet there and hands around everything uh, that needs to be done, lend his uh, enthusiasm. Uh, Frank, with his uh, uh, experience, and the Mike and the rest of them, David, you know, the good stuff over there. They will carry this through till we find the manager. You're now in the bizarre situation of looking for your fifth manager in six months, Milan. Where do you go in that search? Well, you know, I think I've done well, so it's uh, it's not one one month. It's five in six months. No, I think it's, I'm very disappointed with that, you know. I wouldn't call it five managers, you know. As you know, when I arrived, you know, I was starting this uh, chairmanship uh, on the wrong, uh, wrong way, you know. I took the club and the team that is going down to first division and uh, I had to do something quickly, desperately, to make some changes and bring some temporary help, you know, here. That's why I brought Nigel Warnington to give us a shot to at least stay, stay up there. And he was the manager. He was the appointed for five games to help us to stay up. You know, after that, you know, I uh, uh, recruited uh, Martin Allen. We all know uh, that situation. Uh, and uh, you know, after them, him, I recruited uh, uh, Gary. Uh, so something that I didn't uh, predict. It, something that I didn't uh, plan for. It's uh, not my fault. You know that that happened. You know how. How the hell you can you know uh, bring somebody uh, that didn't have the job for 18 months? He comes here and does well and shows this quality that I expected the quality of the management. And uh, all of a sudden, six weeks later, somebody comes from Premier League and takes him. You know, you don't predict that. You know, and uh, uh, what can I do? You know, it's, I guess it's my luck, but it's got to stop somewhere. I think it's enough is enough. You know, as far as my bad luck here, I got to turn it around and get on. You know, with the with the with the proper direction. You have to start the hunt for a new manager, of course, immediately. What are you looking for in, in terms of a replacement? Have you got any idea of names, Milan? Not really at this time. As you know, I'm still in process of, of sorting this out, finishing off today. And, uh, you know, my, my first um, priority is to get together with, uh, with uh, uh, Frank and uh, uh, Jerry and uh, Mike and the rest of the staff over there to concentrate tomorrow morning, get together tomorrow morning, first thing with the players, bring them up to date and uh, ask everyone to, to get united, to get behind each other and help help us, you know, to be strong and then and, and, and go forward. At the same time, I, I send a memo to our supporters, tell them the same thing. I said, look, you know, we got to stay in together on this one here, understand each other, give support and, you know, do the best what we can do and uh, uh, then after that you know when I sort this out tomorrow I will start to look about new manager. We noticed from your statement that there was a, a pertinent message to the supporters as well asking them to, to unite and try and get behind you and the team. It's been very difficult for the supporters hasn't it with so many changes in such a short period of time? It is you know I, 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 I recognize that and I feel uh, you know really bad about that but uh, it's not my desire, it's not my choice, but uh, the one thing is I'm not giving up, I'm still there, I'm giving full support to our uh, direction and uh, I, I hope they will recognise that and give me support. Is there any loyalty left in football, Milan? <laughs> it's a good question, I think we all have to look at into that and, uh, and really check, you know, in that, you know, there, uh, it's, it's a disappointing situation. Loyalty. How do you spell it? I don't know. Milan, thanks for talking to us. We will no doubt talk to you over the next few days as your hunt for a, a new manager continues. That's uh, Milan Mandaric, the Leicester chairman. They're talking to us live and exclusive on Sky Sports News. Uh, the hunt for Leicester's fifth manager in six months starts here. Rob, thank you very much. Fascinating interview with Milan Mandaric, who's feeling pretty uh, jaded, pretty, well, pretty disappointed was the word he kept going back to. He wears his heart on his sleeve. 
but wouldn't quite allude to how he's really feeling. He's keeping that close to his chest, isn't he? I tell you what, the uh, Bolton fans and the Leicester fans letting us know exactly how you feel about uh, this uh, last sort of well, recent debacle that's been going on uh, throughout the course of the afternoon. Uh, this one here from Dave, who says, after last night's abysmal performance, Bolton can have Megson. I'll even stump up the train fare for him. Bolton stump Bolton says, I think it would be great to have Gary Megson as manager. And this one from Pete Williams is a long-time Bolton fan and firmly believes that Gary Megson can pull this season around for Bolton. No disrespect to Sammy Lee, but Megson has leadership qualities that the whole team will respect. Let's hope the deal can be done. It's going to be done, Milan thinks, in two or three hours. Yeah, that he does. If it is done, you'll hear it here first here on Sky Sports News. You to us at skysports.com, Leicester and Bolton.